love you guys so very much. On three, one, two, three. I love you guys so very much. Great job. Oh, Rock Kent just said great job. I, I just want to continue to watch this. Oh my gosh. But you know what? After a year and a half, felt like longer than that. Sure did. Long wait. The critically acclaimed series, Ted Lasso, is back, baby, for season three. Love it. We've never been more excited. The show stars Jason Sudeikis as the American coach to a British football team, a.k.a. soccer. And the catch is he was hired in spite, mm. and his football coaching career is limited to American college football. Okay. And That's not like good. Alabama. No. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Somewhere in Kansas. Something like that. Uh, so critics have praised the show for its ensemble cast, which includes our next guest, one Jeremy Swift. In 2021, he was nominated for an Emmy Award for his portrayal of Leslie Higgins, an assistant and communications director with the team AFC Richmond. You know, this might be a good time for us to update our roster, put some more firepower in the team. That is a great idea, Leslie. Let's put some feelers out, shall we? Uh, well, I know Roy and Coach Beard are working on some new tactics. And, you know, the fellas we got are already gelling real nice. I think we're going to do just fine this season. Ted, this team doing just fine is a far cry from you telling me we're going to win the whole thing. Whoa. Whoa, did I really say that? Yes, you did, over there after the Man City loss. Just before you blasted half a litre of Pellegrino in my face. Oh, right. Wait, what happened? That is the Ted Lasso I want coaching my team this season. The one who's willing to fight. Understood? Yes, ma'am. You watch. From now on, I'll be floating like a butterfly and sting like a bee. <laughs> Except I won't die here yet. Jeremy Swift joins there us live things. this morning. Welcome to New York Living. Thank you. Nice to be with you. It's so wonderful to see you this way. Uh, when you see a clip like that, what is your reaction three years later? You're doing this wildly successful show. Um, yes, it's just been quite a journey. You know, you do something... Um, you know, I've been in lots of shows that haven't sort of taken off but i thought that they were great but you know for some reason the public or the uh the, the critics mm -hmm. haven't taken to it um so and uh, you just really never know but this just has so many qualities this show that people are attracted to and and now it's just got mega i mean we did this premiere in la um last week and there were some crazy fans. They're all very sweet and courteous. And they sort of know who we are now, not just our character names. You know? Yeah. Um, so it's, it's a first for me because, you know, I've been working for years, you know. Uh, <laughs> and, this kind of thing. and, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not necessarily what I wanted, you know, but it's... Um, uh, but it's great, you know, yeah. and I'm not not yet. It's... it's, it's but it's a new thing. It's a new thing to experience. Well, just know that you are beloved. Yeah. Your character, Leslie Higgins, is just... Yeah. I, he's a gem. I, I absolutely love his the little side comments he makes, how he always is kind of just in the room. What do you love most about your character, Leslie Higgins, and playing him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, those puppies were so sweet. Um, <laughs> um, I, I, you just never know what the, the creatives are going to come up with next, really. Uh, lay there, you know, me playing the face. <laughs> I love dogs, that so much. You know, so... Uh, um, I, I love the fact that it's the show itself is just so full of surprises, and I never quite know what is in store for Leslie Higgins, you know. Um, it's uh, interesting. And, it's interesting that you say that, because I wonder what... How much is improvised? Because mm. you just mentioned it's such a surprise to you sometimes. Is there any improv improvisation? Uh, there, is improv there is improv, um, but this season in particular has had so much finessing that even though it, I, I gave up learning the lines <laughs> until the day we were doing it because at 7 in the morning, usually when I was in the car, uh, and this goes for everybody, um, you'd, you'd get pinged a new draft of the script. Oh, oh God. Um, so uh, it would be, that's when you'd have, and it, sometimes it, it had changed immeasurably and sometimes it had just been shortened mm -hmm. or, um, so there was, there's that stage. And then, as you say, the stuff on, uh, on set that, yeah. um, that Jason will finesse or mm -hmm. he'll just shoot something out what, what, during a take <laughs> that, that you just have to catch and run with, you know. 
it's truly it's remarkable how well it comes together. And I, you know, obviously, it's a it's a cast of characters. We mentioned the wonderful ensemble, um, and your your character's wife, Julie, is played by your wife in real life, Amy. So, what was it like getting to act alongside her for this just um, just incredible, wildly popular show? Oh, um, it's Mary. Uh, the, that's a lovely picture of us, actually. I haven't seen that one. Um, you two uh, clean yeah, up quite nice. Look at that. We do, don't we? Yeah, particularly Mary. Uh, um, um, it's it's just to treat, you know. It's one I'll take. It sounds gloomy to the grave. <laughs> uh, hopefully, that's a long way away. Uh, but you know, um, you know, doing the Christmas episode that was tremendous fun. Yeah. Um, it was sort of like being at home, but with more footballers. Yeah. Than oh. normal. Uh, you know, we'd be chopping up some carrots and things together, and um, in the background, I think. This is this is quite lovely and strange. Yeah, <laughs> what it's, an experience. It's so funny because I was going to bring up that that scene and that episode in particular because I felt like that's where I really fell in love with your character mm -hmm. because you felt so real mm -hmm. and I got to see this other side of you and inviting all this you know the whole the whole team was invited over for the holidays. I mean, you guys over. were just that that scene incredibly must have been warm couple. Tons of fun. Yeah. And it's a very feasible premise, isn't it? Because, you know, you do have, um, well, it doesn't just football, you, but it, football in particular, you have people from all over the world yeah. uh, drafted into one particular team. And, you know, footballers work very hard. They don't have very long breaks. So it's quite, it's perfectly feasible yeah. that they would be alone and isolated mm -hmm. at, at Christmas, you know, yeah. or, a, or a, you know, a celebratory time. Um, so it's so clever, the show like that. It's just, you know, it's always gr grounded in something real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think that's why I, I particularly love it. I can't even put my finger while, on why exactly I love it, but I just, I love it. Yeah. I absolutely cannot mm -hmm. get enough of this show. And it's so quotable. And, I, and why I love Higgins, again, I just can't stop gushing about this character, is because, you know, you think in the beginning he starts off as this kind of timid, mm -hmm. and he's just there doing his job, and yeah. he's kind of not like a front runner. And then he, for, then he becomes a member of the Diamond Dogs. Yeah. And then he kind of has this fire under him and this spark, and he's like, mm, <laughs> I'm going to get what I want, I'm going to take it. And yeah, well, that's, that's that's what you get when you get a mentor that enables people to be themselves. And that's what Ted does to everybody. Yeah. You know, he just ups their game. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, no, it's a, it's a fabulous development and one that other shows may have taken, you know, sort of three or four seasons to get going. But this show is very fast moving. It's very fast out yeah. of the traps. And uh, and so <laughs> he's taken from this obsequious um, walking on eggshells character to somebody, uh, you know, the beginning of season two is making decisions yeah. for the club. That's right. So it's, uh, yeah. It's so Love endearing. It. Now, say it ain't so. Tell us there's going to be another season. Please. Uh. <laughs> I wish I could say yeah. yes or no. Look at you praying. You've got, you've got, I, I'm I praying to the good Lord above and right now. He's like, there are snipers behind this camera. <laughs> I can't say anything. <laughs> you can't say anything. I have electrodes tied to my <laughs> foot. Right. Yeah. Um, uh, I really, literally, nobody knows. In fact, I think Jason himself doesn't, doesn't know. know. I don't think it's a okay. hard and fast decision. We haven't had a, that's the end. We right. haven't had a, yes, there's more. Either. Well, um, if there's a petition we can sign, we'll be the first two names. We, we will need march this. up and down yeah. for We need this feel-good funniness in our life. Thank you so Every much day. for joining thank us. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. Ladies. Continued thank you success. Mm -hmm. The first episode of season three of Ted Lasso is out now on Apple TV+. Plus. New episodes drop each Wednesday.